In this video, we'll discuss why, why oversleeping feels so damn bad. You know, if you've gotten a little sleep for a while and then catch up on lost sleep, waking up in the morning is going to be extremely rough. You'll be groggy, lethargic and won't get anything done. But why is this the case? Find out in this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So before we start, I just want to point out that I won't spend any extra time talking about what oversleeping is, because we have already made a video on it in the past. I highly recommend you check it out before you watch this video, because I feel like it's important that you understand the basics before you watch this video. Uh, you know, it's vital that you know what oversleeping is if we're going to talk about oversleeping. <clears throat> Regardless, that video will be linked in the description, so go check it out and then come back to this one. But um, I get that some of you may not care uh, and just don't want to watch that video, so the TLDR of what oversleeping is is that it's when you sleep longer than usual. Okay, that's the very short version of it. Uh, I should also point out that not only does oversleeping make you feel bad, but can, uh, it can also be correlated to a bunch of negative health effects like headaches, back pain, obesity, depression, so on. So you might be familiar with your body uh, aching after you slept like 10 hours or you or you're waking up with headaches, um, you know, it's not a great start to the day and it's really going to be reflected in your productivity. So anyways, let's talk about oversleeping some more. As you can probably guess, the answer to the question of why you wake up feeling groggy after oversleeping isn't very simple. There are several factors that can influence how much sleep, inertia, grogginess, lethargy and so on you feel in the morning. Um, it could be influenced by your lifestyle or your diet, activity levels and so on, but that's not what we'll focus on today, no. Today we'll talk about three main reasons why you wake up feeling groggy after having slept for a longer duration than usual. Uh, the first reason is uh, why you wake up feeling groggy and bad uh, is that you have a higher chance to wake up during REM sleep. Okay, so some of you may be confused because polyphasic sleepers will understand that waking or they will wake up from REM naps and feel totally fine, though there are also people who feel bad after having woken up from a REM nap. But the key component here is how much REM sleep you've had. So waking up from REM will feel worse after being on, on like during REM sleep for an hour than it is waking up after having just spent a few minutes in REM sleep, okay. Uh, anyways, when you sleep for a few hours longer than usual, you will be more likely to wake up during the REM peak or just after it, which also has a higher fraction of REM sleep per your total sleep time. In other words, you will have a high likelihood of uh, not missing the REM block and waking up in light sleep, which feels fine contrary to REM sleep and slow wave sleep. And you will instead wake up during REM sleep, which will certainly not make you feel okay, especially if it's a long duration of REM. So this is the first factor, waking up from REM sleep while having spent a lot of time in REM during the night. The other factor is the destabilization of your circadian rhythm. Similarly to why people get jet lag, waking up at the wrong time will not match what your body is expecting. Uh, this will directly influence your circadian rhythm, expecting you to wake up at a certain strict time. And when you wake up at a later time than what your circadian rhythm is expecting, it will start to be destabilized. You know, it doesn't understand what's going on and uh, wrong hormones will be released. It will all be a little bit funky, not a good situation to be in. Well, this leads to grogginess after waking up, as I talked about earlier. This is actually pretty uh, clearly observable if you do a slow circadian shift on daylight savings time, for example. Basically, <laughs> instead of doing one long jump, you uh, like ahead of time or behind time, you instead switch your sleep time 5-10 minutes at a time. Uh, the community has found out that it's a very bad idea because you will just confuse your body and it will be lead to feelings of disorientation. If you were thinking about pulling something like that off, don't do it, it won't help you unfortunately. Okay. 
cool. And that leads us to the third point. Uh, when you oversleep, your brain produces less serotonin, which is a symptom usually noticed in people with migraines. See, when you have lowered serotonin levels, uh, you will start developing headaches. So this is a big one for you waking up with a headache, you know. It doesn't affect your grogginess or lethargy that much by itself, but you probably know that if you're feeling uncomfortable or unwell, uh, which headaches usually make you do, uh, the whole body suffers from it and it can lead to negative emotions or a decreased motivation as a side effect. Okay. Now we know what the three main points of waking up and feeling groggy when you oversleep are. Uh, those being there's a likelihood you wake up from REM sleep or higher, higher likelihood. Uh, you're pushing your habitual wake time later and thus destabilizing your circadian rhythm and lowered amounts of serotonin. Great, but how do you fix this issue? Do you act, how do you actually avoid waking up feeling tired, lethargic and so on? Well, as I said earlier, earlier in this video, <coughs> sorry, there can be a million different reasons why you feel bad when you wake up. But when discussing these three, com three main components, uh, the easiest way to avoid feeling bad from oversleeping is just to avoid oversleeping. Okay, okay, look, I understand that it's not easy and sometimes you just need to oversleep. For example, on a monophasic recovery, you will be sort of be oversleeping until you've caught up on all your sleep debt. Uh, that's a necessary evil to reach your goal. Just like sleep deprivation is a necessary evil in order to reach the adapted state of a polyphasic schedule. But anyways, you could try drinking a glass of water before you go to sleep, improve the humidity and temperature of your room and so on. But the simplest way to fix the issue related to oversleeping is to start a polyphasic sleep schedule. After you've adapted, you won't know, you won't need to oversleep anymore. The body will automatically arrange the sleep stages when you get, that you get in order to assure that you get the needed duration of slow wave sleep and REM sleep as when you're monophasic, which means that there won't be a need to oversleep anymore. If you're interested in learning more about how to start a polyphasic sleep schedule, we've made a ton of videos on the topic that you can check out, and you can also check out our website polyphasic.net for more information. Anyways, I hope that you learned something about oversleeping today and why it feels so bad, as well as gotten some ideas regarding how to fix it. If you don't want the pre preventative approach that I presented to you today, you could also try evaluating your life lifestyle. <coughs> Certain medications and substances induce hypersomnia, so if you happen to be using some sort of medicine, you can research that and try to see if there's a link between that and, you know, the hypersomnia or oversleeping symptoms. Uh, and uh, if you find something like that, be sure to bring it up with your medical doctor and ask them to change your medication if it's possible. Anyways, I hope that you learned something and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Nap well, people!